welcome to our channel my dear students today we are going to talk about the very important topic that is a road map for important naming reactions in this road map we discussed about the 20 naming reactions the important 20 naming reactions in both aliphatic and aromatic uh, naming reactions we discussed this uh, uh, Roadmap can be divided into two parts. One is for uh, aliphatic uh, naming reaction, another is for aromatic naming reactions. In aromatic naming reactions, some of the reactions are common for both aliphatic and aromatic. Uh, that also we discussed. So here, uh, so still if you are not subscribed to this channel, go and subscribe now and click a bell icon. Get notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much. Just go and watch now. Listen here. Here we are taking that, uh, what is that? Ethyl bromide CH3 CH2 Br. From that we can start our uh, conversions and naming reactions. So here uh, ethyl bromide on the halide will be taken and that can be converted into other halides. Okay, like iodide. If you want to convert halides like chlorides and bromides into iodides, we are in need of certain kind of uh, reagents like NaI in presence of acetone. Acetone that time it gives so ethyl iodide as my product. This reaction is a device called a Finkelstein reaction. Finkelstein reaction. Are you able to understand? It's the first naming reaction. And another naming reaction is also what is that? The CH3CH3F. That is the halides can be converted into respective fluorides. For that, I used AGF. Okay, fluorinating agent. So this reaction is called Swartz reaction. This reaction is called Swartz reaction. I think so you understand very well. Suppose the same ethyl bromide will be taken. That will be reacting with the 3 degree alkoxide. 3 degree alkoxide. That time it gives some unsymmetrical ether. It's a kind of ether. This synthesis is called Williamson synthesis. Williamson synthesis. Williamson synthesis of unsymmetrical ethers. Okay, same ethyl bromide will be taken. Suppose the same ethyl bromide will be taken. I have to increase the number. I have to double the number of carbon atom. What I have to do? So I have to do by the way of using sodium as well as a dry ether. Okay, you suppose the two molecules, two moles will be taken. I will be getting butane as my product. This reaction is called. Woods reaction. This reaction is called Woods reaction. And very important thing. So here, if we put, so here uh, there are two type of reactions are there. Okay. Suppose if you add aqueous KOH, what happen? The OH minus will go and uh, because it is a strong nucleophile, that will eliminate Br minus very easily. That is what it can form. Alcohol as my product. If it forms alcohol, if I oxidize this alcohol with a mild oxidizing agent, that time I will be getting CH3CH4. This is a acetaldehyde or ethanol. Are you able to understand? This is what type of aldehyde? This is alpha hydrogen containing aldehydes because this is a functional group. The functional group is attached with the carbon that has hydrogen. That is called alpha hydrogen. This is alpha carbon which is having number of hydrogen, that is alpha hydrogen. The alpha hydrogen containing aldehydes will usually involve in this type of reaction in presence of a dilute base. In presence of a dilute base, it forms a product like this. CH3, CH, here it is OH, CH2, CH2. That is, this is the functional group. This is alpha carbon. This is beta carbon. Beta hydroxy butanol I got it. Okay, this reaction is otherwise called as aldol condensation. This is another naming reaction. Are you able to understand? This is what it plays a very very important role. And the same ethyl bromide will be taken. If I want to convert it as alkene, what I have to use? I have to use the alcoholic KOH. If I use the alcoholic KOH, I will be getting alkene as my product. If you don't know about this concept, please go and watch my previous video, the difference between aqueous and alcoholic KOH. Okay, so if you watch that video, you will be getting a better idea. So how this ethyl bromide can be converted into ethylene. Okay, right. Once I got ethylene or alkene as my product, 
which will be reacting with Br2 in presence of uh, CCl4 as a solvent. The term will be substituted. That is a one comma two dibromo ethane as my product. Okay. Again, if you add alcoholic K O H, there will be a dehydrohalogenation. That is, this halogen and this hydrogen will be getting eliminated. This halogen and this hydrogen will be getting eliminated. That is what I am getting a through two double bond excess. That's what I get. Ethene as my product. So once this ethene, three moles of ethene will be taken and that will be undergoing the temperature of 778 Kelvin. That gas is passed in red hot copper or iron that will give benzene as my product. Okay. Most of the aromatic naming reactions will be start from benzene. Okay. Let's discuss how the aromatic uh, uh, naming reactions will be carry out with the benzene. Okay. Are you able to understand? I think so you understand very well. Almost we cover uh, Finkenstein reactions, Schwarz reaction, Williamson synthesis and uh, Wood reaction and dual condensation. Almost five naming reactions we covered within a single uh, roadmap. Okay. It is a part of a roadmap. So the second part will be coming here and listen here yeah, students and uh, here it's a roadmap for aromatic uh, naming reactions and uh, some of them are having both for aromatic and aliphatic let us discuss the first thing is uh, conversion of uh, so we started with benzene because benzene we prepared in that earlier stage so benzene from aliphatic compounds we prepared after that the benzene is getting converted into chlorobenzene by the way i have used FeCl3Cl2 Cl2 gas is passed and uh, FeCl3 will be acting as a catalyst that time I will be getting chlorobenzene as my product once I got a chlorobenzene that can be converted into phenol so how we can do this so here we can use NaOH okay 623 Kelvin temperature 300 atmospheric pressure and this reaction is otherwise called as a douse process Douse process. Okay, that's a important naming reaction. Douse process. Okay, and next thing is, for if I got a phenol, once I got a phenol, so I have to convert that into salicylaldehyde. For that, I have to use the same sodium hydroxide, NaOH, here CHCl3, followed by hydrolysis. If I do this, I will be getting this salicylate as my product. This reaction is otherwise called as remark Thiemann reaction. Are you able to understand? Atya, that is a remark Thiemann reaction. And suppose the same sodium hydroxide will be used, NaOH, along with that CO2 followed by hydrolysis. I got salicylic acid as my product. This reaction is called Kolb's reaction. This reaction is called Kolb's reaction. Which one is from phenol to salicylic acid? That is called the Kolb's reaction. Are you able to understand? Now we discussed about the three naming reactions: Dow's process, then Riemann-Riemann uh, reaction, then Kolb's reaction. And let's consider from that the chlorobenzene to cyanobenzene. How I can achieve? So here I can use CuCN at the temperature of 473 Kelvin. Okay, I get converted into cyanobenzene. Once I got cyanobenzene, I can use convert this into benzaldehyde. The cyanobenzene to benzaldehyde that is 10 HCl. Are able to understand? Followed by the hydrolysis. Are able to understand what is the reaction? Yes, this is a Stefan reaction. This is Stefan reaction or Stefan reduction. Are able to understand? From cyanide group to aldehyde group. That is done by this kind of agent. That is Stefan reaction by stannous chloride. That is stannous chloride HCl. Trim HCl or we can use stannous chloride. SNCl2. SNCl2 HCl we can use. Uh, by the way, followed by the hydrolysis, I will be getting uh, benzoyl as my product that is called the Stefan reaction. Once I got cyanobenzene, that can be again during the complete hydrolysis. Complete hydrolysis. If I do complete hydrolysis, I will be getting benzoic acid as my product. 
Once I got benzoic acid, I'll be able to react with SOCl2 that can be converted into COCl. Once I got COCl that I can convert by palladium hydrogen as well as barium sulfate. Did you know about this reaction? Yes, this is a Rosenmund reduction. Rosenmund. This is Rosenmund reduction. The Rosenmund reduction reaction from COCl to CHO. Are you able to understand? This is very very easiest conversions. And uh, once I got benzoic acid. Okay, I got it from benzoic acid. From benzoic acid from the itself we can uh, cleave it. So here uh, CONH2, there will be a uh, addition of ammonia. If I add ammonia, that can be converted into amides. Okay, once the amides can be converted into amines. So did you know about the reaction? This is nothing but NaOH along with Br2. This is Hoffman bromide degradation. That is Hoffman, Hoffman bromide. Hoffman bromide degradation from amide to amine because one carbon less that time I have to use uh, Hoffman bromide degradation. Once I got amine, I can convert it many. So here, if I use the NaNO to HCl, NaNO2 along with HCl, I got benzene diazonium chloride. Once I got a benzene diazonium chloride, if it is react with the CuCl2, okay. So this reaction from amine to chlorobenzene, this reaction is called Sandmeyer reaction. Yes, we define Sandmeyer reaction. Sandmeyer's reaction. Are you able to understand Sandmeyer's reaction? And uh, suppose if I use the copper powder, copper powder, that reaction is called Gatterman reaction. Gatterman reaction. Are you able to understand? This is what very simple. So Sandmeyer reaction, say for example from amine to chlorobenzene, from diazonium salt to chlorobenzene, that is called Gatterman reaction. From amine to chlorobenzene, that is called Sandmeyer reaction. This is very very simple. So here I used copper powder, here I used copper chloride. So <coughs> Sandmeyer reaction is nothing but two steps. That is from initially I have to convert it as diazonium chloride. After that, if I add copper chloride, I will be getting chlorobenzene. That's my product. But in the case of uh, uh, Gatterman reaction, just after getting a diazonium salt only, I can able to add powder, copper powder. That time it gives Gatterman reaction. The same product is product is chlorobenzene. The same product. Are able to understand? And the very very important reactions. Let's discuss about all those things. And uh, from benzene to benzaldehyde, how we can achieve? So from benzene to benzaldehyde, what is the uh, uh, reaction process is going there? So addition of CHO group, uh, how we can add it? Let us discuss. And here, uh, before that, I would like to discuss this thing. That is, uh, what is that? Um, benzene to toluene. What is the benzene to toluene is taking place? Okay. Benzene to toluene. What is that? So it's nothing but one alkyl group is added with that. So that alkylation, that is friedel crafts alkylation a reaction that can be done by that is anhydrous aluminium chloride with CH3Cl. If I want to add CH3 group here, I have to use CH3Cl. If I want to add C2H5, I have to, add, I have to take as C2H5Cl. Okay. This is alkylation reaction. This is friedel crafts alkylation reaction, FCA. friedel crafts alkylation reaction. The same thing we can do from... Uh, Chlorobenzene to so same same thing if I want to do this. Suppose if I want to do this process, what is that? From benzene to this uh, acetyl group, that is the uh, what is the name of this compound? This is acetophenone. How we can achieve? So I have to get the ketone. So how I can get the ketone? The same alkylation. Instead of CH3Cl, I have to take CH3COCl. The remaining reagents are same. That is anhydrous aluminium chloride along with CH3COCl. If that I take, I will be getting acetophenone as my product. Do you understand? And here is the very important thing. That is from CH3 group into CHO group. How we can achieve? CH3 group into CHO. What is that? So it is nothing but a ether reaction. Yes, very fine. There is a CrO2Cl2 
along with the followed by the hydrolysis okay these are all the mild oxidizing agent so if i suppose if i want to convert uh, a toluene to benzoic acid that time i can use acidify came in a four potassium dichromate i can use strong oxidizing agents okay but in this case i should not use strong oxidizing agent because i need to get only aldehydes from uh, alkanes okay so i have to use mild oxidizing agent either bromyl chloride followed by hydrolysis or titrating chlorination we can do okay number of reagents are there okay chromic acid is there so number of reagents we can use this reaction is called the etard reaction etard reaction from uh, toluene to benzaldehyde so once i got benzaldehyde benzaldehyde to toluene so that's a reverse reaction how we can achieve this reaction is very important so we can do by the way two ways one is by clemenson reduction Clemenson reduction. Another one is the Wolf-Kishner reduction. Wolf-Kishner reduction. For the Clemenson reduction, I use the zinc amalgam HCl. Zinc amalgam HCl I used. For the Wolf-Kishner reduction, that is the uh, NH2 NH2. What is that? Hydrazine I used along with that uh, uh, base. One KOH, I used as a base KOH here uh, in presence of ethylene glycol, e.g. that is ethylene glycol will be acting as a solvent. Yeah. So for that, if I do that Wolf-Kishner reduction or Clemenson reduction, we can do this CHO group can be converted into CH3 group. Are able to understand these are all the important reduction reactions. So they. And next reaction is from benzene to benzaldehyde. How we can convert this? This is for that I use the CO along with the HCl in presence of AlCl3 CuCl. This reaction is called the formulation reaction, or otherwise this is called the Gatterman Koch reaction. Okay, this is called the Gatterman Koch reaction. Okay. Likewise, that's all about almost all the naming reactions, important naming reactions are covered, almost 20 reactions we covered. So here let us discuss what all that is we covered, it's a small recap. So here are chlorobenes into phenol, that's a Dow's process, this is the sixth one, okay. And uh, phenol to uh, salicylic acid, salicylic acid, that is called Kolb reaction, that is seventh one, and riemann thiemann reaction, that is eighth one. Okay, and the Hoffman bromide degradation reaction, it is a ninth one we discussed. And next one is uh, from aniline to chlorobenzene, that is called Sanmi reaction, that is uh, tenth one. And Gatterman reaction, that is eleventh one. Okay, and uh, I got it uh, from a complete hydrolysis, COCH and COCL. From this is called Rosemann reduction, that is called, that is a twelfth one. Okay. This is a 12th one and uh, Clemenson reduction it's a 13th one and wolf kishner reduction is a 14th one okay so I had to use and Stephen reduction this is a 15th one and uh, here uh, Gatterman coach reaction that is a 16th one and the uh, next one is a chromic chloride eta reaction that is a 17th one and the alkylation reaction that is called alkylation or virus as well as acylation reaction that is a 18th one and acylation reaction is a 19th one okay alkylation acylation 19th one and finally we have what is that chlorobenzene to what is that uh, toluene what do we have to achieve so it is nothing but uh, if i add ch3cl okay along with that sodium in presence of a dry ether are you able to understand what is the name of the reaction yes that reaction is called what's pretty reaction that is words fitic reaction words fitic reaction this is a 20th reaction almost we covered a 20 naming reaction within a single roadmap this is a unique content in youtube so you never see such a kind of a, a roadmap for entire naming reactions thank you so much for watching till if you are not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe now Thank you so much for watching. Please go forward to others to get benefit and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.